We just finished talking about bringing nature into the classroom and using natural materials in the classroom. So let's talk now about the outdoors and utilizing the outdoors as a learning environment. The outdoors can provide just as much learning opportunity as the indoors. When we covered motor development, many of you showed interest in utilizing the outdoor environment to support development. The outdoors is a great place to support active movement and provide challenges. Children are also able to see insects and plants in their natural habitat, and it can be so much fun as a teacher to provide places to explore the elements. Most anything that can be done inside can be done outside as well. The same play spaces, for example, that are found inside can be made available outside. The same consideration regarding play spaces inside should be taken for outside play spaces as well. Things like distinct nooks, traffic flow, and accessibility are equally important in the outside environment. The play space was created simply by using tree logs, but there are so many opportunities for infants and toddlers to explore here. Think about the infant that's beginning to crawl or pull up or the toddler that is ex exploring balance and space. The outside environment offers opportunity to investigate creatures in their natural habitat and learn more about science. It's important to introduce toddlers to respectful ways of investigating insects and creatures. Talking about handling them gently and keeping them safe is an important transition. Most toddlers are fascinated by outdoor creatures although it can be intimidating for some, so it's also important to keep that in mind. There are many fun learning experiences that can be done from a distance as well. Plants are another fun component to add to the outdoor environment. You do have to ensure that whatever is in the area is non-toxic, but there are many non-toxic plants. Garden vegetables fruit trees, and some herbs are great to incorporate in the play yard. We've seen this picture before. Here the children are exploring water in the outdoor environment. The outdoor environment invites unique opportunity to explore light and shadow as well. It doesn't mention it on the slide, but wind is another element that can be experienced outside. And also sound exploration. Oftentimes the loud sounds are encouraged to be kept outside, so why not allow that exploration to happen? The last piece to cover is safety, sanitation, and comfort. With all the things discussed today, safety needs to be in the forefront. Furnishings indoor and outdoor need to be checked for safety. Infants and toddlers are still exploring things with their mouth, so whenever introducing a new material, such as ordinary objects and recycled materials, the size of the object needs to be checked. Choking tubes are an important tool for checking items. Many store-bought items can still pose a risk as well. The ingredients of art and sensory material should always be checked to see if they are toxic. Clearly, there are some insects and plants that are not safe. Always do your research before introducing something new. And make sure to review the most up-to-date guidelines for a safe, clean, and comfortable environment.